name is Porsche Dumensa, the National Coordinator for 350 Ghana Reducing Our Carbon. In the university, I started an NGO called Dream Hunt, which helped me to be part of the seven selected young people to represent Ghana and be part of the 500 youth from 128 countries in Istanbul, Turkey, which was organized by 350.org. This advantage helped me to come back with the team to start what the organization called 350 Ghana Reducing Our Carbon. Our aim was to help in stopping the establishment of coal in Ghana. Through this adventure, we helped in the government um, stopping the establishment of coal in Ghana and also transitioning into renewable energy as an alternative. This has helped in boosting our campaign. And through this advocacy, we are able to go into the grassroots and engage with the young people. And make sure that these young people have their advantage to understand why it is important for them to choose renewable energy as a career path line. And also have the women also shift into renewable energy because they are the most vulnerable and are being affected by climate change. Through the Renewable Energy for Communities campaign at EPOC, um, there are different segments of that work. So there is the lobbying aspects where uh, the, the campaign group was working with government to ask them to really commit and really come through and um, really take on the 10% by 2030 a commitment into a reality for Ghana. Um, then as well in the communities, there's a section around uh, a, a smaller campaign, they, they coined called Women in, in Renewable Energy, which was really focused on giving capacity local, to local women, you know, women working in markets, using bobo lamps, uh, to really build their capacity to enable them to understand how shifting to renewable energy is not only cheaper, but it's also healthier for your own lifestyle uh, as well as, you know, supporting your business. But I'm talking about you. I'm born at China. What was the year you started? The year you started by nineteen. No, I'm from the year you started. Oh man, you're born. I'm from Oma. No more. 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 No Mamma, <laughs> Madam Lady Archer, I'm a poor child. What ban on a calling you organizing here when you are here and banny pin may you see ya? Now watch a tray often solar. There are more by ya, you boy, you sir, or Bob Way and Yapo, Missini, and your main auntie, you and your young. My poor child, what may be Mamma Tony? Nan you pop pin with my young pa. My name is Patricia Odebi Abbe Queen. I am the Administrative Secretary for 350 Ghana Reducing Our Carbon. So looking at this community, it's a fashion community. And the work they do here is fashion, and the women are into smoking of the fishes for sale. Now, um, coming here to impact them, we took them through trainings on, on climate issues, the reality, what they are even doing to contribute to the climate issues. They used um, firewood as a form of fuel in smoking their fishes. And so we made them aware that they cutting down trees to use in smoking their fishes is also what is contributing to climate change. And then we introduced them to improved cooking. Um, clean cooking solutions where they can use improved um, clean cooking tools to rather smoke their fishes that is even smokeless and will not even have health implications on their lives because when we were talking to them they they, they were able to tell us that even the smokes that they inhale gives them um, health issues such as respiratory um, diseases, um, catar and all other um, diseases and they are often 
they often visit the hospitals because of that. And so through our training and introducing them to the clean cooking stoves, the re rechargeable bulbs, the renewable energy bulbs, we went there to do our monitoring and we realized that they have adapted to the renewable energy bulbs and have even gone ahead to buy bigger ones um, aside what we gave them. And we believe that it's, it's a step in the right direction in making that impact. And these women in whatever they do, in whatever businesses they are doing, are using one um, form of fossil fuels, uh, depending on one form of fossil fuels or to, or to the other. So the impact we are making is changing their mindset in shifting from these fossil fuels and moving on to renewable energy. And they, are, they have also accepted it and they are adapting to it because they have seen changes that has that the renewable energy product has brought into their business and into their lives. Over the last couple of years, we've worked with 350 Ghana Reducing Our Carbon on a number of campaigns. We visited schools, educating young people about renewable energy. We've also held processions and submitted petitions to the energy ministry and the Energy Commission, pushing them to commit to the 10% renewable energy target in Ghana's energy mix. We've also gone to communities, engaging them, um, driving the adoption of renewable energy technologies in the area of clean cook stoves, in the area of um, solar lanterns and solar bulbs. Um, we've also engaged with traditional leaders through festivals, um, trying to push them as to become advocates for renewable energy in their community. As for me, the, the renewable energy is very good. Uh, when they come, when they came before, Pungu was having a, a low sh a, a schedule of electricity low current and by then there was corn mills but sometimes the light will be there and it's not stronger like the way it should be and when they, when they brought that solar panel I learned they were saying that it's 2.5 megawatts and it's going to join to the national grid and then improve our life system in Navrongo not in Pungu alone but we can see that now the electricity, the low shed is, is, it has minimized, not in the previous years. So it has helped a lot. We can see that, uh, I've seen a lot of people, we have a lot dry sitting gardens like this. We see a lot of people have been using the solar uh, to pump, to, for the pump, pump machine to pump uh, water from the ground and water their crops. So, we see that the renewable energy is very important and is needed in Navrongo or in even the, uh, all the three regions in uh, uh, Northern. So it's good, it's good for the renewable energy. Mm. I think everybody is in need of this uh, renewable energy because it will bring your cost down. Because when you can have a solar panel, the sun is free and it will bring you power. I think everybody will be needed it. Only to how to get this is the problem. So if so far as you are here, I hope all my, uh, my fathers, the paramount chiefs across the region and then the, vis the vicinal chiefs across the region will be needed it. So we are all ready and we are there. When we can, you come at any time, we can provide the land. No chief will say that he don't even need the renewable energy because they have seen it in Avrongo and uh, uh, probably Pungu. They know what the, the, the solar can do to the people. When they came, we ourselves, our people, the community leaders and opinion leaders, chiefs and landlords came together. They knew the benefit of the uh, solar because always we have lights off and this. And so we were even happy hearing that they are coming to, I mean, give us solar and they will upgrade it to the national level so that it can help uh, uh, this and, uh, other communities and towns. So we're very happy and glad to receive them. It has helped us a lot because uh, previously at night, the place always is dark. 
and our children can get access to learning, the school children especially. And you know, certain times uh, during the dry season, our women, the hairdressers and the barbers, they used to barb even in the night. So without the lights, you know, they couldn't do anything. But now there's more improvement and any time at all they can learn in the night. It used to be dark everywhere and even it makes us very difficult. You don't know where to pass and where not to pass. So now everywhere there are lights, street lights everywhere. So we are very comfortable. So I encourage every uh, community, you know, to, I mean, uh, accept the, this and the solar. It has helped a lot uh, to help our people. And now I have one of uh, my members who is having uh, uh, this in a barbering shop where you are going to uh, Sandema at your right hand side. Seven times he put on the solar and he's using the solar. Solar alone, that one is not even using net together with, uh, I mean, the, the grid. And it is very, very good. So to me, I would even advocate that if solar, uh, a, a company can come, or government can come, to just put solely solar system, that will power the houses, I think, uh, cost-wise, it will beat down the cost and then uh, life will be cool for us. Young people require improved skills in being able to participate effectively in the renewable energy space, especially by gain, taking up careers in renewable energy, uh, solar insulation skills, biomass, clean cooking, uh, biomass briquetting production and stuff and also becoming renewable energy consultants. There's a lot of opportunities and the, the need for us to enhance your youth skills training, youth involvement in decision making around renewable energy, youth participation in renewable energy activities is very important to be able to build their capacity. At the same time, the need to also provide entrepreneurship and innovation for young people to be able to take up bring out renew renewable energy enterprises is key because for young people, uh, besides education, the next thing they want is jobs. How do we ensure that renewable energy creates jobs for young people, especially young graduates uh, from the universities and colleges, to be able to take up jobs in renewable energy? To me, it's a renewable source of energy, so it doesn't harm the environment that much not like it doesn't harm the environment and to the country it's it will serve as a source of um, um the, it minimizes the cost at which the country will put into electricity introducing solar to in the school would help reduce the rate at which the school management pay electricity bills and it's a very good we won't have the problems of lights out and stuff yeah and as a girl too i would encourage many girls to involve in this um, technical training because it's a very nice dance <laughs> We are demanding that governments be more ambitious in achieving the 10% renewable energy and we are demanding that more young people are equipped and given the opportunity to build their own African-based solutions in renewable energy. We are demanding that our women have the opportunity to have access to clean cooking based solutions and we are demanding that our women are put in the front line to have a voice, especially at the grassroots level in helping us harness and achieve this. We have a bundle of sand um, that we can use for the solar, the wind. We have a lot of opportunities in, in Africa, in Ghana. And so we believe that it's a sure way, a way out. Now we need to leave the oil in the ground and look at that alternative, which is the best alternative for us. Africa, the African Union is saying that gas is renewable, which we are saying no, uh, because it's not renewable. 
and and so we want them to be bold to stand on their ground and to know what is good for Africa and we should not be um, bullied around. For me, African leaders um, have a long uh, way to go. They, they, they have the power, they have the will. A lot of uh, the community are backing them. They should stand firm and, 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 and speak um, to the issues. Uh, let's use our, our own resources that we have. Nothing about us without us! Nothing about us without us! If you're in the continent, whether you're from Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Ghana, you know that we have an issue in terms of energy access and also there are existing massive issues around energy justice where there are human rights violations, uh, where companies, multinationals come to countries, promise us, you know, our communities jobs if they turn to fossil fuels. And, uh, but at the end of the day, most communities are left displaced. Uh, they're left, um, they're moved out of their cultural homes, you know, uh, they lose their land and yet they don't get the benefits that they were promised from fossil fuels. So why we need to power up is to really push for energy justice that really puts communities first uh, and a community led, because that is when we'll prosper. You know, this energy shouldn't be for the outside. If this is a resource that we can tap for ourselves as the continent, why not? I think, you know, community first, if the community wants energy, we should give them energy, not promise them anything more or less. ARI has the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions or to the point of having zero emissions, which goes a long way to help us to achieve the 1.5 climate target that we want to achieve. Renewable energy is also very, very crucial because it is the avenue to empower African countries to become energy self-sufficient and be less dependent on fossils. So the potential of renewable energy cannot be understated because it also helps us to provide very clean air and also help us to save the planet. I think we are in the best position to be a clean energy hub, as in a renewable energy hub, and that will be, the, I think, the best focus for our continent and not gas or oil uh, or any other untapped resources that we feel like those will give us um, you know, development. I think development is what you make it and renewable energy is the way to go. Africa is blessed with abundant sunlight and wind and it's important that we have an African-based solutions to our climate change issue. Let's build the capacity of our young people and build the capacity of our women so that we together can help solve the climate issues and have the best solutions in Africa. This time has come to power up for communities and for a livable planet. Power up. Let's power up Africa. Let's choose African-based solutions to our climate change issues. Let's power up to renewable energy. Let's power up for renewable energy for communities. Power up for renewable energy in Africa. Let's power up African women to take action in climate change. Let's power African women to get involved in climate activities and push for renewable energy in their communities. Let's power up for schools across Ghana. Let's power up. Let's power up for affordable and decentralized renewable energy. Let's power for communities. Let's power for justice. Let's power up for future generations.